Now, Dave, I understand you've got a group of guys doing some cutting right now, I right? Do. So why don't we go up to where they're working, and you can take us through what it takes to harvest a tree. Okay, we All can right. do that. Let's go. Just follow me. So Dave, tell me what we've got going on back here. Okay, we had just cut about 125 con color firs, which are going to be heading to Philadelphia, Elkins Park. Okay. Uh, we're going to be loading tomorrow morning, and they'll go out Wednesday morning. Uh, now we have a lot of big trees here, that's what we're here for. Uh -huh. we, we had some 12 footers and 10, uh, a lot of 8s, 7s. We grade them out and mark them as they, as they go out here. Oh, let's talk about those grades. Um, they're graded according to the National Christmas Tree right. Association, the right? Quality. The, for quality. And what are those grades? Well, the premium, like you can see those trees over there have, have a blue ribbon on. Right. That's a premium. Uh, the number one grade is practically you know, a good looking tree pull out around would be a number one. Okay. Number two might have a hole in it, not bad, bad uh -huh. top or something like that. And then number three, we don't use it for Christmas trees, it's used for wreaths, wreaths for and greens, that greens kind of thing. Gotcha. We gotcha. don't throw them away, we get something for them. Oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Because they've grown, these trees have been in here between 12 and 15 years. 12 and 15 years. To get this, this con this color, tw this, this right. height would be 12 to 15 years. And you mentioned the con color fir, which I happen to love. It's, it's probably my favorite. Um, what are the other types of trees that grow in this region? Okay. Now, Easily, they also call say. the con color the white fir. Oh, I and didn't know And it comes that. from the high Sierras out between Nevada and if you ever travel out there, you look, you'll, you'll see like a stick going up and, and at the top you'll see this tree. You'll, oh. you'll also see them in the Grand Canyon. You'll see uh, this, this tree in the Grand Canyon growing wild in there. Oh, I didn't it's a know remarkable that. tree. It is. Uh, they, they do well here because it's good, good shale, good, good drainage right here. Okay. The Douglas fir and the, the con do well. Okay. They don't do well where it's wet. They'll get yellow and just don't won't, won't be a presentable tree. Well, that that probably brings me to the next question. Then normally you see tree farms on rolling hills. Is that that's the, the reason? So they have the drainage for the. Gotcha. Especially the Douglas fir. They can't have wet feet, so you want that to drain off there. So you need a good shale base underneath. Okay. So Douglas fir, con color fir. What are some other some other types of Christmas trees you would see in this area? We have Fraser fir. Okay. Okay. Spruce. spruce. Okay. Uh, there's several different types of spruces. We can show you some of those. Okay. But uh, that's this. This is the fir family: Douglas fir, Fraser fir, Concord fir. Dave, what's going on behind us? Could you explain that for me? Yes, uh, we cut about 120 trees, and we want to get them on this trailer. Now that trailer will hold approximately 200 trees. And where and are these trees headed? They're headed to Elkins Park, which is a Philadelphia suburb. So it would be a retail re outlet. Retail, lots of fire company. Okay. And to get that many trees, you need to bind them. Okay. To get them on there. So this this wrapper, a Howie wrapper here, you can see that tree there is probably uh, eight or nine foot tall, probably at least 40, 40 inches wide. And it'll come down to probably uh, 12 to 14 inches. So you can see we can get a lot more trees on a, on a load. Sure. If we bind them. Plus, you, don't, you won't break branches. Right, right. Now when we retail, we, we reel every tree mm -hmm. as it goes out yeah. so that the customer can get it in the house, get it on his stand, and he opens it up. So greatest invention. How long before you wrap them are the trees cut? I cut them just hours, maybe an hour or so before, because if you let it lay in the field open, it'll dry out. I see. So we get it out of the field immediately get it over to our storage area which is in the shale bank with, and we put them with the with the butts down in the ground so they get take moisture off uh-huh otherwise you, you know it would uh, be a detriment to the tree and it would lose its needles if we let it out in the field here so it's better to wrap it up and get it out of here i see and get it in your storage area i see and we do that within the same day great hey did the truck hit this one that's a buck rub that's a buck rub that's a buck rub on the little tree. Oh yeah. Was it, it a little buck? Must be a little buck because <laughs> big buck's like six foot. I was gonna say. Well, what that's kind a, of tree is this? That's a con color fir. A con color. Yes. Do will the will the deer will the bucks rub any tree or do they? Usually a Fraser fir or a con color. Why is that? Very few. They I don't have too much trouble with the Douglas fir, but they, they like the Fraser fir. <laughs> I don't know if it's the smell or it feels good in their horns or what it is. Really? That's a, <laughs> So Dave, this is your retail area then? This is retail. This place is going to be 
hopping in a couple of days, isn't Friday. it? Friday, Friday would, would be, we open Friday. Friday, and, and you've got another storage area back there. Right. Where you're collecting some of your Frasers, and they'll go out, what did you say, tomorrow? Well, some tomorrow, Friday, Saturday. And do the orders, the orders just continue to come in? No, we have all the orders in. Okay. But next week then we'll, we'll have two loads going out yet, so. Great. And do you say, how long do you stay open then? Will you sell trees right up until The Christmas week before Eve? Christmas I try to blend away. <laughs> do other things. You, start, it, you close up shop more and more toward, as Christmas approaches then. About huh? the 20th of, of December is a good time. Now you also sell wreaths here? Yes. Come on over here and show me what you've got waiting for me at the table. Okay. We have some uh, greens for you here. Okay. And uh, wires, and you can see if you can put them together. Well, you know, I've had a little experience with this. Oh. A little. When we lived in Wisconsin, um, my husband purchased a bow harvesting permit from the Shawamagan National Forest. We would oh. go up to hunt. So he brought back a ton of boughs, literally a ton of boughs one year, and I tied over 200. Wow. Actually, I didn't tie, I clamped them, because, and that's how I recognized the wreath ring that your, your wife was so mm -hmm. generous to give us. Um, this actually would sit on your table, and the clamp comes up through mm -hmm. with the mouth here. You've got a foot pedal, so when you step on the foot pedal, it, it guides you right and clamps the wreath together, clamps your greens down, and then you just shift it around and clamp and shift it around and clamp. Probably the most consuming, time consuming thing for me was getting the greens all in a uniform size, right. you know? And then, of course, we've got the ring, the wire ring to tie some greens with. Do you, get, do you have patience? I think so. This is going to take me a while. the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> you got you want to put on a cup of coffee or something? I'll do that. All right. I'll step aside. All right. <laughs> now I'm going to take off my watch and my scarf and my vest because I do remember getting a lot of sap on me. All right. First of all, we start by anchoring the floral wire to our ring. I'm going to do it two or three times and tie on, you always tie on a group of three greens together. Typically, it's a long, a medium, and a short green in each one, or you can fan them out. But the idea is to make it even all the way around the ring, okay? Bear with me. And I remember working in gloves for about the first couple of wreaths, and then I thought, I'm not getting anywhere. I need to be, I need, you need to be in bare hands, so you'll have a few scratches and lots of sap, but it's worth it. So what I've done is wrapped our first set of greens three times with wire, and you want to give a good pull after each wrap, because these are, these are going to shrink once the, once the greens lose some moisture, and you want to be able to, you know, have your wreath looking good in a few weeks. It's all coming back to me. <laughs> the cuts, the abrasions, the frostbite. I brought a couple of picks that I picked up at the craft store. I liked it because it had pheasant feathers in it. And it adds a nice touch. And it's good because it can cover some stakes if you've got a big gap or something. <laughs> I probably should have picked up a few picks. And then when you have, um, when you've incorporated a pick, your next set of greenery would be shorter and a little more fanned out. So you don't want anything to cover the pick. So we'll do something like that cut. 
maybe that so it's flatter and maybe some maybe some pine I love working with this stuff As we get closer to the end, I'm gonna to start to take shorter and shorter lengths so I can tuck just a couple of more green sets and we'll be done. This is the last wrap, so I'm going to tuck this back in. No fancy way to it, I just kind of wrap it around and Just use your trimmers, trim off any uneven edges, and work with your pick so that it's displayed nicely. Pick the part that's got the most empty spot. That's where your bow goes. Hey Dave, how's that coffee coming? Coming really good. It <laughs> tastes good. What do you think? Can it, use a, can it use a bow somewhere? Let's put it up top. Right there where your hand is. Right. So come on in and join me. I like it. It's tough. It is tough. Hand it's hard tying. on the hands. It's hard on the hands. Beautiful. Pretty. You think my friend Ed will like it? I think Ed would like that. I think so. Hey, when Ed comes back, we'll have to see what she needs to buy it though, right? All I, that time and effort. I think it was just marked up. I think it was marked up. <laughs> hey, have a great holiday. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Thank you.